I just got hit with a bunch of charges on my business bank account. And the capital's getting lower and lower. And then I got to send money to a uh, friend that really helped a lot with making a deal happen. And I'm 50 50 with him on it. And that's just going to make the balance even lower than what it is right now. What do you do when money's low? Do you, uh, do you pretend like it's not low and think money and then money appears in your life like with the law of attraction? Or do you get very conservative and go into a survival mindset and fear not having money and think about not having money? It's, uh, it's a little difficult to decide what to do. I think I'm just going to not worry about that shit and just think money and let the law of attraction bring it into my life. Every thought you think creates your reality. If you put your happiness in temporary things, your happiness will be temporary. If you put your happiness in temporary things, your happiness will be temporary. So, what we just spoke about earlier with the whole think abundance or think, oh shit, you know, we have scarcity, we need to be more conservative. If that's the right word, I think. Um, you know, I watched a video about the law of attraction just after that, and it really says that your thoughts create your reality. So, that makes me think. Like, multiple people in this world, they're short on funds, and they're constantly thinking scarcity. Um, not trying to hate on people, but you know, like, when they ask for donations at the store, most people don't even want to donate. And, like, they'll spend that money on stupid shit, either way. And they're really in a scarcity mindset. They feel like... Or at least, you know, I can't speak for what they feel. But what I think they feel is that there's a small puddle on the ground. And everybody's got a little thimble. If you don't know what that is, it's like a little cup, like the size of the tip of my finger. And they got to drink from a puddle with a thimble. And what does, what does that kind of scarcity get us? Nothing, nowhere. So I guess a problem with vlogging off of my iPhone is I can't listen to my meditation as I vlog. Like as you can see here, just lying down, listening to my meditation as I vlog. But then I thought like, how are you guys supposed to know what I'm doing? Well, there you go. Now you know what I'm doing. And the grass is kind of wet, but it's nice. So I'm, uh, I'm going to listen to my meditation. I'm going to do it here on the grass and the shade and the earth, really getting down to earth. Hey, one second, check this out. You ever look up in the sky and wonder like, what the fuck is beyond that blueness? Like, I feel like so many people never think about what's beyond what we can see. There are planets out there. There are other rocks that we could potentially live on. And most people don't even think about that. Think about how fucking small we are. I, I really need to stop swearing, otherwise YouTube won't monetize me. But I, I guess I really don't give a shit. You know, this is for me, not YouTube. Um, but wow, think about, think about how small we are. We're like a grain of sand on a ginormous beach. That's like the size of our universe. Or sorry, not universe, solar system. 
Like, holy crap. And it is infinitely expanding every single day. Every single day. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And, bigger. and for some reason, everybody's caught up in their problems. And think that, you know, their, say their boyfriend broke up with them. They're like, oh my god, it's the end of the world. It's so horrible. But like... Dude, your problems are so fucking insignificant compared to what is out there. Like, the whole world. If the whole world just, boom, went away, and the universe would be, like, no different. It'd be like taking one grain of sand from a beach and then wondering where the fuck the grain of sand went. We are very, very insignificant right now. We really need to get off of this earth and become a multi-planetary species like i think that's our only way to really grow like if you're mold on a piece of bread you're never gonna grow unless if you jump to the other piece of bread and i think that's what we need to do is jump to the other piece of bread if you get the metaphor I'm gonna have to hire a camera crew to follow me around and edit my videos and all that shit. Because doing it myself and trying to take massive action is a little bit difficult. It's doable, but it's a little bit difficult. If I have a camera crew, you know, production quality can go through the roof. Uh, they can edit everything for me. And I can just do my thing instead of having to like, take breaks in between and record or pull out my phone whenever I get a chance and record. So give it a little bit and we're, uh, we're going to get the camera crew in here. We're going to get somebody following me around and videotaping it. And I'm going to hire out, hire out the editing and uh, shit's going to be a lot better soon. Okay, today we're going to get this finished, clean out this crap, get that thing, the Mustang, in and underneath there so still helping others but we're gonna get it done today for sure <laughs> got the garage pretty much all cleaned up to put the Mustang in. We're just charging up the battery before we do that. I um, All I really have to eat is potatoes and gravy. And for some reason, I haven't been feeling like potatoes and gravy. So we're going to the store right now. And we're going to go get me some food. I don't know what the hell to eat. This is what adulting is like. Because I, I, I fucking suck at adulting. Do you guys have that two for five thing going on right now? Yeah. Can I get that, please? Uh, two of them bacon on biscuit. Two bacon on a biscuit? Yeah. Two bacon on a biscuit? Yeah. Two bacon on a biscuit? Yeah. Could I get... Chipotle like, just give me a second. All right, thank you. Have a nice day. So you want two bacon on a biscuit, right? With chipotle sauce? Uh, yes, chipotle yeah. sauce on each one, please. Yeah. I guess the trouble with doing vlogs and YouTubing is when you forget to record something, that would have been great footage. Like I was just watering the car and that seems really fucking funny but it would have been great footage because it's really fucking funny. I have to water the car. I also have to give it lots of sunlight. No, I'm kidding. The sunlight is not necessary, but I do need to water the car, which is fucked. Also, well, I guess the sunlight is necessary, hey? Because the, uh, the speedometer doesn't light up. So when you're driving at night, you don't know how fast you're going. And you also don't know if you're revving high, you don't know how hot it is, uh, all, all kinds of shit. So I guess I do gotta give it water and lots of sunlight.
so I'm new to this whole adulting thing and lately I've just been eating burritos, 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 and guess what? You guessed it. Yes. Um, so I, I walked in there and I thought like, what the hell am I going to eat? I don't know. So I just asked uh, one of the managers at the store, what's for dinner tonight? I suck at this whole adulting thing. He's like, hmm, I didn't expect somebody to ask me what's for dinner, but how about this? Some fries and some pork chops. It's a good price. Also, $2 for the fries and 6 bucks for the pork chops. So that's what I'm having tonight. Fries and pork chops. Okay, well, I haven't done the editing yet. Usually I do that around uh, 1 p.m. And you guys don't usually get to see what I do in the afternoons. Well, this is usually what I do. I, uh, I go see my sister and I bring her shipping labels because she has a business as well. She sells clothes online and she doesn't even fucking try really. She, she puts in so little effort and she makes so much reward. It's, it's crazy. I, I, uh, I really think that she'll outdo me. I honestly do. Shouldn't say that online. She might see this. Uh-oh. Oh no, I'll turn that off. Oh my God. So the AC doesn't work in this car. It is like a fucking sauna in here. We're gonna go to Canadian Tire, which is a hardware store pretty much, and we're gonna pick up some AC fixer upper shit. And we're gonna fix this fucking AC in the car. It is like, I am sweating buckets in this car. It's nasty, it's gross. Like my back is like soaked from the seat it's, it's disgusting so we're gonna we're gonna get some shit to fix this hopefully i'll remember to record it okay so you see this this is the uh ac on the go shit that right there i'm pretty sure is where i gotta stick it in so i'm just gonna read the instructions quick and make sure i know what the fuck i'm doing Okay, so all of that work, and that didn't work. It's still hot as a bitch in here. Not as hot because it's not as sunny now, but it's still fucking hot. And I spent like what? Fucking $80 on materials to fix it. And those materials didn't even work. So I don't know exactly what the problem is. My, uh, my grandfather is going to diagnose the the outcome of what we did and see if he can figure out how to how to make it work but I'm uh, I'm gonna go pick up my sister again and me and her are gonna hang out for a little bit so editing is gonna be a little late on this one but it's gonna be up for the normal time but when you guys are watching it that won't matter that I'm saying this <laughs> 